Hello, and welcome to the introductory video for CyberReason's app for IBM QRadar. We will first give a brief introduction to us as a company, then run through an attack simulation demonstrating the integration. Hackers are getting better, faster than most security solutions can defend against them. This is called the adversary advantage. CyberReason reverses the adversary advantage and gives organizations the upper hand by empowering the defender through a completely new approach to cybersecurity. We strongly believe that it takes a hacker to find a hacker. With a focus on visibility, we enable you to see an attacker's footsteps and remediate malicious events in your environment in real time. The CyberReason suite of products includes endpoint detection and response and next generation antivirus. They not only reverse the adversary advantage, but also increase analyst efficiency and effectiveness and reduce security risk to your organization. Today, we're going to show you how CyberReason triggers alerts in your QRadar solution and can be used to investigate suspicious activity in your environment. As part of the simulation, we have set up a virtual machine on which I'm going to run an exploit. We will then see the detected attack both on the CyberReason platform and in the QRadar instance connected to it. What this means is that every alert you see in the CyberReason platform will then be replicated to your QRadar instance, giving you better management of your events in a single pane of glass. Here is the CyberReason malop inbox before we run the simulation. You can see five alerts, or malops, currently in the inbox. Jumping to the view in QRadar, you can see these same five alerts represented in the UI. I will now toggle to the virtual machine's desktop view and execute a .exe file from an unknown publisher. As you can see on your screen, upon running the software, the .exe file opened Notepad. Now let's pivot over to the CyberReason platform to see what we detected. In this case, you see a new malop for fileless malware that was launched using PowerShell. Let's take a quick look in QRadar. We can see that the alert was also propagated into QRadar. Within QRadar, if you right-click on the newly generated malop in the QRadar malop inbox, you see three options. Investigate malop, inbox, and discovery board. Each option will take you from the QRadar view directly into the CyberReason platform to take further action. For example, if we select investigate malop, a new tab opens, displaying the investigation screen in the CyberReason platform. Here, you can get more information about the incident and choose how to respond. Thank you for watching our introductory video to CyberReason's app for IBM QRadar.